And we said, sure, we'll be neighborly. Uh, let's uh, help you out because we want you to better your life. And he said, and I think that you'll find people that also want that too. I thought I'd take a second uh, to show the progress. Uh, so, uh, backyard now. I'm not sure what time it is. Anyways, uh, so I've got three strips uh, doing. And then uh, started with uh, the backyard. And uh, look, uh, is this called a Brazilian wax right here? Anyways, left a little uh, strip right there that I'm going to take care of. I'm going to wax with a lawnmower. Uh, but yeah, just uh, wanted to show the progress. I've still got the rest of the yard, but I did. Uh, yeah, I uh, did the entire part over here. So there's hopefully less useful. Um, yeah, did the front yard, and now I'm doing the backyard. Am I the only person that thinks, like, no one can really tell? I mean, like, you can tell that tough, but uh, imagine this thickness is the entire rest of the backyard there but uh let me see if you can see with the front yard and oh, um pause let's see okay so my so my neighbor is allowing me to use his uh blower like to uh yeah to blow it onto the grass as opposed to having uh the wind do it but uh he said blowing it back onto the grass will uh help get the um, mulching uh, effect but yeah so here is the freshly mowed uh, front yard including I did that I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be us or if it was supposed to be uh, the city that did it but uh, yeah I can tell where the neighbor's property ends anyways uh, but yeah front yard Oops. hopefully I didn't show my license plate uh, is mowed and um, yeah now to finish the back and then blow the grass back on to it uh, but just want to take a second get a drink and show you the backyard which I'm about to mow okay yep okay Sorry about the sunlight. Again. So, um, I get that I am not jogging today or uh, lifting weights, but how do uh, people my age stay, or I mean, like, maybe uh, this is it? How do they stay in shape? If you have a full-time job and you have, like, uh, I don't know, like if you're successful enough to have your own house and you do the yard work, plus you go work out. I mean, if you're my age and married with wife and kids and doing yard work and uh, working out, how do you have time in your life to do anything? Because this is exhausting, but... I don't know. Yeah, I'm genuinely curious if anyone else is like me. All right, so here is uh, what I have uh, done. I'm, I guess, doing it in sections, right? Because uh, I still have this part right in through here that uh, needs to be cut. Um, I went and got uh, the perimeter of it uh, up to where that line is so I did perimeter and then I made like a box and it goes down and then it goes over so it's short where so I'm walking on the short part and where this little tree is it's long I can't tell if you can tell that but yeah so uh, so I have like I don't know the majority of that behind me is long because I was like oh I want to do like the perimeter so 
I did the perimeter, but then I was starting to do weird shapes because of the trees, right? And so I was like, okay, I'll just fill this in. So this is all long in here, but then it's short for the most part around the swing set, which was here before. Uh, I think my roommate moved in, but then it's long just underneath. And then it's short for the majority of the out there, but now I've been filling in uh, the square here. So it's uh, long, it should be short over by that tree, but then I don't know. So I've got to get rid of the long stuff here. And I need to get rid of uh, the long stuff behind me. Um, and then I've got long stuff over there by that fence. Uh, I've got to get uh, the bushiness underneath there. I'm not even going to touch that back corner. Um, yeah. At some point I need to come uh, trim uh, the bush over uh, here. I'll do that sometime. That's our kitchen window. Looks out to the backyard. Oh, man. If you're in your 40s and you're staying fit and you're like a full-time husband or wife and you're also working all of it, you have my mad respect for like how you can do all of it because I've been <laughs> doing the yard work portion of it uh, since I got home from work today. I got home from work at about four, then started in with uh, delays for water breaks and stuff. But yeah, it's a ton of stuff to do. And I'm sweating a ton, so I feel like uh, this is my workout for the day. Sorry about being so shaky. Anyways. So an end of the day update. It's uh, like 9.30 or something like that. And completely dark outside. Um, I finished mowing the yard. Finished mowing the yard. Go me. I have not edited the Tracy video. I have... Uh, microwaved up some uh, Mexican food that's like a ring beans rice uh, chicken and steak that's in there may look horrible but it actually tastes pretty good relatively healthy um, I don't know I am adding this on to what you would have just watched um, I did not get the end of it because it was dark by the time I had finished mowing the last part of it. Plus tomorrow I'm going to get uh, the, uh, I'm going to trim some areas with uh, my neighbors allowing me to use his, uh, yeah, the yard trimmer part. So I'll do that tomorrow. I am sure that tomorrow I'm going to be extremely sore. This is a minute and a half. I think the rest of the video is like seven minutes or something like that. So that should put this at nine to 10 minutes long. I don't imagine tons of you are going to be uh, watching this. I should go live on Sunday. I'll probably go live on Sunday. Um, I'm still trying to catch up with uh, KFAR, so uh, go support him and his channel. Awesome guy that makes videos, making fun of uh, people that I think are more cringy than me in some ways. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. I was saying to my neighbor as I was returning the things to him that he is, uh, like he was in the military and he's now retired and he's moving uh, to Texas to go uh, be closer to his grandkids and I said you did it the right way you worked hard 
<laughs> you're in retirement. Got a lawn, a house, and moving it to go be near grandkids. I am more than half your age, and I feel like I'm just getting started. And he said something very kind. He said, at least you're on the right path now. He said, I have only known you a little bit of the time that you've been here. And he said, but I've been really impressed how none of your other roommates um, were raking the lawn. You did it. And when you didn't have the right equipment, you saw that our house was nice and manicured. Came to me and we said, sure, we'll be neighborly. Uh, let's uh, help you out because we want you to better your life. And he said, and I think that you'll find people that also want that too. So, uh, I don't know, it, it hit home perfectly. Uh, uh, there's a song by Tim McGraw, which I believe was written by Phil Vassar, who, uh, if I were to make a list of my three favorite country artists of all time, Phil Vassar is probably number one. Uh, Phil Vassar wrote the song that Tim McGraw sang called My Next 40 Years. And I feel like that's me. I'm starting way behind everyone else, but I really want the next 40 to be better than the first 40. I've got a better work ethic. I've got a job that I love right now. Um, I've got my YouTube channel. Who knows how much it will grow, but uh, I'm thankful for the positivity out there. Uh, if you say this long through the video, Thank you, and um, thank you for the, as of a couple days ago, it was seven people that are channel members, and I'll see what it's up to. Uh, yeah, tomorrow when I'm sore in the morning, I'll work on uh, the Tracy video, and then uh, also before it gets too hot, I'll do a little bit more. I'm starting to repeat myself. I always repeat myself. I'm going to shut up and go. Uh, I don't want to say goodnight because... The majority of you are not watching this at night time.